So I'm not going to tell you how to take a wheel off. If you don't know how to take a wheel off, you shouldn't be doing this. Rear brakes are really simple. There's no pin across the caliper here like there is on the front that I'll show you here in a minute. The rear brake is literally one pin here. So this is very high quality. Stanley 530 seconds punch. You put it on here, tap it with the hammer a couple times. It will start to come out the back. It is held in place or it holds this clip in place. So if you release the tension on this, it moves easier. Same thing down here. You place it in the hole. You hit it with a hammer a couple of times gently and it will start to slide back in. You will take off this plate with these two things and then we will talk about the incredibly difficult effort that is required to recompress the two pistons here and the two pistons here to allow the new brake pads to go in. I will remove this and resume in a moment. So like when I said resume in a moment, I literally just tapped this in and you can see the pin here. So I'm gonna pull this back out. You can see the pin. Trying to do this here looking at the camera. So if you push in on this, the pin literally just goes right out the back. Very, very simple. Hard to do with one hand while filming. But drop this here. I was pushing there with my other finger. Now once one pin comes out, this clip is pretty loose so the other pin comes right out easy peasy what we need to do and you can see here if you look in here there is a space between the caliper and the pad you can actually see right in there that round thing right there and down there are the two pistons that push on the pad into the rotor to make things stop. So this is where I would strongly recommend you go spend hundreds of dollars to buy some form of caliper compressor tool thing to keep the tool companies in business. Or you can just squeeze really hard with your own hands like this. So you're gonna push on these, you push in, and on these you squeeze out, squeeze, I just squeeze really hard, bionic man hands, push it really hard on the top, pushing really hard on the bottom. You should feel the piston slowly move in, and you should start to feel your pad get all floppy in there, and they should come right out. So you can see the calipers pushed in nice, uh, or the pistons in the caliper. Um, so here's the thing. When you take your new pads and you go to put them in, they're going to go back in the same way these ones come out. So if you don't do this often or you are slow in the head, I would recommend you leave these in here until you get the new ones and then you know which way to orient them. Uh, but when you put the new ones in, if they hit those pistons in the caliper, then you basically put the old ones back in because they'll fit and you do more hard pushing. Um, and if that doesn't work, then hit it really hard with your purse and sooner or later you'll get enough play in there that you can put the new pads in. So here we are, take that bad boy out, take my new one, and in it goes. Very difficult. Uh, if, you don't, if it's too easy for you, try doing it using a video camera like this on your phone. It's much more challenging, make you feel better about yourself. So that's it. Now basically your pins and your clip that you took off earlier, these bad boys are going to go on. And I have no idea how I'm going to do this with one hand. Basically, if I can do this with one hand and not look like a complete moron, that's going to come in through the back. You're going to catch the clip on it like so, thusly. You've got to say thusly so you know what you, you sound like you're really smart. And then you're going to see that lines up in the hole. 
to do the exact same thing down here for the bottom. So this is going to go in that hole. Um, push that in. There you go. That'll line up down here in that hole. And then you're just going to stick your head inside the car and with a hammer very gently tap those bad boys in until they're flush. You'll know they're flush because flush means flush. So you see how it sticks out? That's called relieved. Flush means it's flat. That's all you do. And you will have successfully uh, replaced the rear brake pads on a C7 Corvette. And then of course the last step is to put the wheel back on. Again, if you need assistance with that, you should not be doing this and you should seek professional guidance.